Uh, 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 uh. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. That feels great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's great to start with something silly. <laughs> All right, so today's talk is about laughter. So I think it's very important that I start talking about clowns. Go for it, Bob. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Not that kind of clowns. The meaning of the word clown and the image of clowns themselves has been drifting towards something, let's say, a little bit different to what I consider true clowns. <laughs> I want you to think of a clown as what I call the alchemist of laughter. Jesus Jara calls the clown a sailor who navigates the sea of emotions. And if you, are, and if you ask people around you what is a clown, I'm sure we can all agree that it's a character that makes you laugh. In the mid-70s, Patch Adams brought to life the idea that laughter can, heal people, can help people in their healing processes in hospital. Now, that is crucial because he proved that laughter is indeed vital. Later in the 90s, the Catalan clown, Tortel Poltrona, initiated Clowns Without Borders, an association that brings shows to places in crisis around the world, like refugee camps, prisons, orphan houses, favelas, etc., bringing the idea that laughter can also help you heal your heart. That one is Paul Gomez <laughs> performing in Nepal for a community of survivors from the 2015 earthquakes. And on the right side, you have the logo of Clowns Without Borders Switzerland that I had the honor and the privilege to found along with some friends and colleagues in Switzerland before coming to Bozeman, Montana. So how is it? How can I share with you the experience of going and performing to this type of anonymous places? Curiosity, expectation, and some sparkling eyes that sense that something magic is about to happen. That, my friends, is a school room in the heart of the Ivory Coast, and is the typical improvised backstage when we're on tour. This is Ramon Fungarolas, AKA Macmon the Magician preparing his props before showtime. And somehow, there is like this instant connection between the clowns and the kids. It's like they both know that they belong somehow to the same universe. We typically make a parade to gather attention and bring people together for a show that can last 40 minutes or a whole day. You never know. And what starts with a handful of children sometimes ends in crowds of up to 7,000 people. This is the Thai-Burma border, and what used to be a soccer field became, for a day, their Madison Square Garden. <laughs> That's Sylvan the Magician. I did three tours with this incredible human. The partnership with NGOs is crucial for us. We work always in conjunction with large or small NGOs who facilitate access to the places we perform. This is a, a refugee camp for um, Syrian and Afghan refugees, and the tent was provided by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees. I love this one, because it's not only about Western artists going to perform. Clowns Without Borders is a story of giving and receiving, of inviting people to be the main character of their own transformation. In our shows, we like to give women and children uplifting roles. These are the Masala Jokers, performing in Tatali in the east of Nepal. And Lasun, Celine, was the leader of the trio. I'm uh, under, and you, you see a little bit of David's butt there. <laughs> Some circumstances in life force children to become adults too soon. And this is what Clowns Without Borders stands for, children being children again. And it's sweet, yes, but it can also be bitter. As artists, we are privileged witness of harsh realities, and it is our duty to spread the voice of what we see when we're on tour. On the right, you have Syrian refugees living in Idomeni, the one of the largest refugee camp Europe has seen since World War II. 
And that one is a true clown sitting on a true tank in Bosnia in 1995. And this image speaks a lot, don't you think? For example, about the clowns and their relation to authority. <laughs> about NGO personnel as beneficiaries of our actions. And that reminds me of a phrase told by an NGO worker to a group of clowns coming for the second time to perform in Syria. Before you came, she said, the children were playing war, and now they play clown. Because life is nothing but an ensemble of many, many moments which creates memories, and that's one of the main focus in our job. We create joyful moments that make you happy, and images that will live in your heart forever, and forever bring a smile to your face when you remember them. Because a red nose is not only the teeniest mask in the world, but it is also a symbol and a reminder that we all laugh in the same language. Isn't that cool? <laughs> we all laugh in the same language. Laughter knows no borders, guys. A tiny little mask that allows us to drop our social baggage and get closer to what we all were once. Children. This is my private clown, <laughs> Lila Grace. Her clown name is Gotti. <laughs> And she reminds me every day that, like all of you, I was a child once, and that a smile is the key to every person's heart. Thank you. <laughs>